The Tape Never Lies Network. The Tape Never Lies. Tape Never Lies. Starts now. The Tape Never Lies. What's up, everybody? You guys have been asking for it. We are back. Better than ever. Unfiltered, uncensored, the good and the bad each and every week right here on the Tape Never Lies Network with me, your boy, Draft Dr. Phil. Now let's get right into it. The first play of 2020, COVID. I hope everybody's family is doing okay and everybody's doing all right. I know you've been waiting for this and so have I. We're going to take a nice coach's view of this. And I want you to look at the way the offensive line comes off the ball. It's a noticeable difference. And this is what you want to see on the first play. Look at your center. He's scooping and turning. James Daniels firing out. Uh, You got, look at Afedi. Get to the next level. Square his shoulder pads. He's getting squared up, turning in. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do to get the running game going. Now, this is going to be an in-depth look at the big comeback victory here. Let's watch the center again. Look at Afedi. Look at Bobby Massey. Second play of the game. You got Tariq Cohen already in there. I talked about that on keeping it 100 this week. How disappointed I am. And one guy, one guy not doing his job fall into the ground and that's Charles Leno. So second play of the game. Look at the cohesiveness of everybody else. Charles again struggling. Now this is on Mitch here because I want you to look right behind Afedi and Massey. That's the crease. The quarterback has to feel and know. Get the center exchange and get to the bubble. The bubble's there based on the alignment alone. You know you gotta get a yard especially when QB sneak is called. That's on Mitch. I know Mitch haters are out there and they're quiet now because of what happened at the end of the game. But look at this in the early part. Look at his composure. There's a level of confidence there. Gets to that step. Reading downfield. Looking downfield. Look at him. Composure that drops it right to where you need to do. You need to reckon. Look at the route. I mean, the stick move and the get outside there. Let's look at it at the coach's angle. Look at that route by Robinson. See, Daniel's getting pushed back. I know he's worried about his contract. We talked about that this week on a pop-up show. If you're not following the Tape Never Lies Network, you're really not doing yourself a service here. But look at Allen Robinson, Mitch, cohesive. Now we got a toss play here. And this is... Look, Charles actually did his job here. I want you to watch Whitehair. He see, he knows the assignment. He sees the blitz, the run blitz. He backdoors it, pushes it off. Now you're going to see the front side. You see Afedi and Massey, and you see Harris fire out. Watch the difference that the tight end position is already creating here. When you watch Harris handle his block here. Look at Afedi getting to that outside. Perfect cohesiveness. Look at Massey and Afedi. Look at what I talked about. White here turning back. And then you find the cutback lane. And you see Corderell Patterson's speed and instincts here. Everybody doing their job. This gets you excited. If it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. If you're a fan of the tape never lies, you know all last season, all the year before, I talked about Mitch from under center, off action, got to establish the run. That's when you allow a quarterback to grow and ascend. Here he is off action, delivering a strike right on time. Exactly what you need to get done. Is it as accurate as PFF wants it? Probably not. But a completion to move the chains continues drives. And that's what you want in this league. Now he's looking down the field and then turns and comes back a little behind, as you could see, as I said. But a completion's a completion. Now get up and move the chain. You can already see Juan Castillo's coaching technique. I mean, you guys follow me. You know how fired up I would get 
when I saw miscommunication. Look at the performance here in unison. It's not perfect with James Daniels there, but look at Charles, even Charles Leno fighting across the face. How many times did you hear me talk about it? You got to make the cutoff block. You're going to run that inside zone. Backside's got to cut off. There you go. He's getting skinny and getting oh, a couple. Oh, I get fired up here. Action game again under center like your boy Draft Dr. Phil would say with Mitch. But here's two parts to this. Okay. If you're a Mitch hater, you're going to talk about how he's fading away. If you're a Mitch lover, you're talking about Jimmy Graham jumping too early. Now, the offensive line does a very good job here. They attack... They show, run, they attack. We talked about this all last season. Unfortunately, those have been deleted. But you look at Jimmy, he's floating. He mistimes his jump. There's no doubt about it. Mitch shouldn't have faded back and thrown or that ball. But side. again, to hit Jimmy jumping uh, early forces the incompletion. Here we go with Charles Leno, the soap opera continues He's, look at how he ducks his head like this is a mortal sin as an offensive tackle off balance it's like you're standing on the edge think about it like this you're standing on the edge of a cliff or a house on the roof you're not going to go forward like that you fall off that's why he's all off balance all kilter and he allows inside pressure this forces mitch outside the pocket he's got a guy shadowing him spying him and almost creates a turnover since Nagy got hired we talked about him being an offensive guru but an aggressive play caller in an opening game here we go fourth and seven he's going for it here see Mitch Trubisky in the pocket and he's behind here now coach Nagy and we referred to this this week said this ball got tipped somewhere which you could see there's no truth to that here from the coach's angle the pocket's nice he needs to be throwing it right to the hashes instead he throws it behind him this is a terribly placed ball and it's even if by some miracle it was tipped which is that not. ball needs to be thrown on a beeline right along that hash anticipating that and it's a first down now because we've been so long waiting the tape on the tape never lies network this is the debut one i want you to look guard steps down we're gonna do a little defense danny t we talked about him on keeping it at 100 this week check it out right here on the the channel the show if the guard's showing ear hole, you have to fire that gap. He waits, hesitates, come back, and gets destroyed. Now, if you're a fan of what I do here, you gotta check out BHL. It's the best Chicago Bears postgame show on the planet. Bar none, it's Bears Hour Live immediately after each and every Bears game. With host Shane, the smartest man, and draft Dr. Phil Otosha every Sunday, Monday, or Thursday, immediately after Bears games. Your guys, draft Dr. Phil and Shane Marsaw are live on Bears Hour Live. Subscribe to the show via the Tape Never Lies Network, which can be found on YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitter, and Twitch. It's the we best started Chicago off Bears postgame show on the planet. Then Bears the Hour Live. Oh, shit. Yep. After every game, guys, me and my partner in crime, Shane, the smartest man, Marsaw, are going to be live breaking it down. Just like I'm breaking this down. Look at the cohesiveness. One Bobby Massey stay with your block away from having a bigger gain here. And look but at still, a Fetty. I'm loving what I'm seeing with Juan Watch Castillo. Everybody getting to the next level everybody working in unison this is what i want to see continue this week against the giants here they are in 11 personnel i want you to see the growth in mitch i want you to see this firsthand under center again action game watch him get back to seven look at him look for the big play but realize it's not there and they're dropping into zone 
even you could try to force something in there no mitch sees and understands the down marker and gets it the ball to his running back this is growth this is what i like to see moving forward here with mitch that was just calm in the pocket off of action. Oh, this is out of the Atoshin playbook. Pull the backside guard. Look at Afedi do the job. Look at the offensive line. Down blocks. Everybody's working at Coheed. I'm not making this up. This is on the tape. You know I'm critical. The one guy who doesn't do it right is J.P. Holtz. And by the way, he had a horrible game. JP Holtz, we'll see more of him in a little bit here. But really, look at Harris drive that. We're not used to that from a tight end, are you? Look at a Fetty, turn the corner, scoop him, turn your ass. And it, there's Corderell Patterson getting stuck because JP is not knowing his assignment. Action game gets to the drop. There's pressure in his face. Cody Whitehair allowing pressure. It's not a perfect. He steps into the throw. And Darnell Mooney, I mean, for a rookie, you got to love how he's stepping into it. But look at the line. Attack off action. Another thing we, I would constantly be critical about. Got to do a better job. It's not on a Fetty. Look at the center. Whitehair. He's playing patty cake, allows him to get skinny between them. But Darnell Mooney's speed and his ability to be quick, settle, turn, Mitch reads it. Listen, you're seeing the growth that you want to see right before your eyes. With Mitch. You can't make that up. Here we go off this classic naggy at this point. Now he's giving it to our boy Allen Robinson. But again, one guy breaks down on the line. It's a design let go of your guy, Charles Leno. Speed bump, Charlie. All he has to do is block the safety. Instead, he's playing patty cake. Charlie, if you are just get after him and get him out of there, you might have a play. I hated the play call. I love this play call. Look at the trap. Got James Daniels coming backside, trapping. Look at a Fetty get to the second level, the key block. Then you got our guy, Tariq Cohen. He's east west? No, he's running north south right now. He's heard the criticism. He's keeping it 100 himself. Look at White Hair blocking backside cover block. Get there. Great job by James Daniels. Afedi and Daniels really showing themselves. Look at Massey getting to the second level. These are the things we haven't seen from the offensive line in years here in Chicago. And now they're working in unit. Look at that hole. Get up in there. Try to score. I love it. I'm not picking on them. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Look at everybody working in unison here. And Charles just... You gotta be better than this. You can't fall down like a walrus. You gotta get engaged if you're gonna just try to throw yourself at him and chop out his legs. You gotta engage. You can't just fall to the ground. Otherwise, look at this. You might have a play, but instead you don't. Now I love Mitch's growth here. You see it here, he's getting back to read his progressions and go through it great job by the offensive line giving him time you can see him looking downfield he doesn't want to throw the out to cohen so he steps up in the pocket he gets skinny we talked about it on keeping it 100 last night he steps up and he delivers a strike now the refs there the defensive back is grabbing it Allen Robinson's arm, the flag's got to be thrown. I mean, cut it out. Here we go. This is on, as I've watched it 12 times now, this will be 13. It's on Anthony Miller. This is a three-step throw. So he's recognizing the coverage. He likes his matchup on three. He's delivering to the outside, thinking Anthony's going to take it and bend it out 
Anthony goes inside. So it's miscommunication there. Here we go. Running out inside zone. Look at Tariq again. Reading it and hitting it. Look at the only guy again is Charles Leno. I, I can't make it up. He's just on the ground. The, the walrus technique. I used to call this with my players. Watch. You get in that stretch. He sees it, feels it, and gets up in the hole. Now somebody's going to say, well, coach, he did his job. Yeah, I want it perfect. You, don't, you can't strive for average. This isn't a blog star. You got to go after it. You're seeing so much improvement, so many things I like about this offensive line. I don't like that. I do like Cohen, though. Shout out to Tariq. Running hard. Speaking of running hard, look at David Montgomery <laughs> running hard. You got to play to the whistle there. There's Leno again falling down. You notice a theme here, guys? I mean, this is bad. You know why they do those combine drills where running backs run over bags? Right there. But look at David Montgomery's effort. Effort and balance. This combination... In this game of Cohen and Montgomery with Patterson. I mean, James Daniels really has to have people excited because this is some good stuff here that I'm seeing out of both backs. And you guys are seeing it right here. Granted, guys need to understand when you're playing with David Montgomery, you got to play to the whistle because the guy doesn't stop his legs. Here's Matt Patricia running blitz here. Mitch tries to isolate on Allen Robinson. Listen, I'm about throwing to the shallow cross, knowing where you're going. But other people can argue he's throwing to the matchup. Look at Montgomery trying to take two guys on. Mitch takes a shot. But again, the throw is to expected spot of a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Then he comes back here on five, shuffles up in the pocket and delivers a strike here in dangerous territory. Now, when I watched it on the TV, it hits Robinson right in the hands, but really, he needs to check it down either to Trevon Wims or running back David Montgomery, who flares out and leaks out late. This is a bad decision and forcing it into traffic obviously could have been dangerous and was. Last week we had Adam Rank on our show from the NFL Network. He talked about Mitch in the playoff game against the Eagles coming back to the well and learning. Here he comes off action and here you could see good action fake, great job, maximum protection. Got Jimmy Graham coming across. You saw this a lot last year, and they would miss it. And there's Mitch delivering it on time, anticipating Allen Robinson getting open. Just get in the way, create a pocket, and step up into it and be confident in your throw. Look at his mechanics. He's over the top. It's not perfectly clean. You can see... Danny Shelton pushing Daniels back into him, but he delivers it. That's what you want to see. More growth here. Eye formation. Action. He's looking to go to Allen Robinson. But guess what? That's not open. So instead of forcing the throw in there, Mitch turns, redirects. A lot of critics say he can't throw to his left. Turns, delivers a strike. To Darnell Mooney, and I, I'm telling you, I got to keep it 100. You're going to hear me saying that a lot, like our show. Darnell Mooney with a dead leg, completely putting the defense back. Look at the look at the play action fake. See how he gathered the ball up there, takes it back down, turn to your second read, and deliver a strike over the top to Mooney. Now watch as he comes back. Tall. Beautiful. Action, feel confident, great pocket, great job by, look at Harris, the tight end over here, doing his job. Now he hits Mooney, look at Mooney, dead leg, keep his balance. I'm serious, you got to look at this, this young 
buck, fifth round pick. Keeping his balance, putting his hand to the ground, making a defender miss. That's awesome. What isn't awesome is something going on early in this game that they eventually clean up. And that's the missed time jump. Imagine Jimmy uh, Graham throwing the ball out there. Had he recognizes not. the leverage that Jimmy Graham has. Good timing, touch, throw. It just seems like Jimmy left a little bit early. I've watched it now 23 times. And Jimmy actually takes onus of this. Really, I really respect that on Jimmy Graham. Now, this is the dime ball, in my opinion. Gets to that step, gets in the pocket, and delivers it over the top. I really think if Anthony Miller's running through this with pressure on him, instead of going one hand and throwing two, you make this play. Now, critics and haters are always going to be. You can see Coach Furry. Look at Coach Furry jumping up in the air. See him? You can't blame Mitch on that. NFL quarterbacks are asking to, be, to throw that all the time. Now, look at this. Eye formation. Montgomery just reads the back door, gets up into it. I can't wait to show you from this angle. A Fetty and Daniels, I mean, look at the difference that this offensive line with white hair, that interior is moving people out of there. Daniels, one-on-one, -on -one, turning, shelling out. Look at a Fetty driving and, and white hair. That's some great stuff right there. A little special teams in the mix. I mean, we've been missing football, right? Look at Demetrius Harris here. Effort. Oh, almost blocks the punt. When's the last time we've seen one of that? But I just wanted to isolate on his effort here, trying to get that block. He's fired up. I love that. First, we talked about the growth of Anthony Miller this week on our shows. Um, you just look at him here. Stick. Get that guy off and get to the spot. I mean, that's a beautiful route. Then look at Mitch, five-step drop, step up, deliver on time. Look at that. That's perfection there. Look at it from behind. Right to right to his hands. Mitch not being phased. Step up, square those feet. Good technique. Great play, Anthony Miller. Now, one thing as a coach, you want to reprimand and keep it in your quarterback's consciousness. Yes, he's got Jimmy Graham wide open here. Snap your head. You don't have to throw the hard, tough ball. You, I know you love this guy. It's like your parachute in Allen Robinson. But he's look at Graham wide open. But he throws it to Allen Robinson. And I'm telling you, one of the best catches I've seen in a long time by a Chicago Bear. The focus, the concentration. And I'll tell you, that's freaking threading the needle there in this throw now it's a completion and at the end of the day that's all that matters and an amazing play and catch ryan pace pay the man let's go now this is a sin this is a layup you have leverage from the tight end you square your feet and shoulders aren't square thus he's throwing off the side hitch of his body and this results in an incompletion and an overthrow square those shoulders and just this is a high school throw you gotta make that throw it's unacceptable that he doesn't make this throw action off that stretch look at him get out there and you see how he's jumping watch it here see how his whole body's off base his shoulders aren't square and thus that throws off the trajectory and it's an overthrow. Got to be better. My dad would say sometimes a quarterback's as good as the players surrounding him. So we talked about what Mitch had at the tight end position last year. Look at him deliver to Jimmy Graham. Pitch and catch. It's a weapon, guys. Now I had to put this play in here because ESPN's not going to do it and no one's really going to talk about it. But... This is really something special. You're talking about your tackle getting whooped. 
And you, as a quarterback, getting face masked to the extent where your whole, the whole body weight of the defenders pulling down, and you stay up, have the presence of mind to not only run down the football field, he could have gotten even more. That is special. What isn't special is getting back, standing flat-footed, and missing this opportunity here to hit Allen Robinson. And this is what you get with Mitch, and that's why critics are heavy, it's because you got to be able to step into this, have a better front foot step, drive over the top, don't javelin it, and get it out there to the open receiver. And as soon as he does that, this is where critics come into play. Going back to pass, just trying to scramble backside, lacks the protection and fumbles the ball. So there's where criticism will come. And this is the good, bad, and the ugly. I mean, we got to look at the tape. It never lies. Love you guys. Standing up and supporting us in our new home. Look at this on a slant. This is a mismatch. Look at the dime right into the bread basket. Now Mitch is getting hot here. So after all that turmoil happened, now Mitch is coming back. He's sitting in the pocket and then he's anticipating the route. And he throws to that spot. Great catch here by Anthony Miller. I mean, this is great focus and concentration. This is a good throw. No matter what you hear, this ball is anticipating the route. Anthony gets to the spot, gets both feet down, and things are never always going to be perfect in the NFL. So you want your receivers and playmakers to make plays. That's why you call them playmakers. They got to make the plays. Look at Anthony Miller's focus, dragging those feet. It's beautiful right there by Anthony Miller. Mitch coming back here, looking down the football field. Now, this is what we saw with the face mask, the ability to escape. This is just accuracy because look at him dead on, dead to rights, gets out of it, really threatens a defense with his athleticism. And if you incorporate the movement to this guy's game, we always have talked about that, you really get the best possible scenarios for your football team. And then, really ultimately, from the coach's angle, anticipating this, I mean, does it get more accurate? Look at those shoulder squares. He, does, he doesn't jump. He learned from his mistakes before. Then he comes back after uh, Jimmy's marked at the one. It wasn't a touchdown. And anticipates the route again, going to his left. Going to his left. And he's really turning on the confidence. The coach is getting him to move. Getting Mitch to move really builds his confidence. It's very easy to see that. Look at this throw. Just an absolute dime to Javon Wims. Just an absolute dime. Look at this ball glide right into his hands. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. That's six. Speaking of six, this is it. Play of the game. You can't put a ball any better than that. So the game of football is played for the course of 60 minutes. You've seen good and bad and ugly all throughout this game. Remind you, watching this play, watching this throw, with the game on the line, the young kid who we should all be pulling for, steps up and delivers one of the best balls you'll see over the weekend to win the football game. And Anthony Miller, I mean, really growing up before our eye. I mean, that's what you want to see your football team do. This is your guy, Draft Dr. Phil, with The Tape Never Lies. We return to The Tape Never Lies Network. The good, the bad, and the ugly, it never does, it never lies. Guys, subscribe to the Tape Never Lies Network, the YouTube channel right here. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, you find us on Instagram. The Tape 
Never Lies Network. And this is your guy, Giraffe Dr. Phil. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Subscribe, like, the tape never lies. And don't forget, after every Bears game, Bears Hour Live with Giraffe Dr. Phil and Shane.